and she said, that sounds great. And for the next couple of months, we developed this show. We took what I loved about uh, Celebrity Poker Showdown and what I loved about John Favreau's program, Dinner for Five, and we put them together, and we replaced the game of No Limit Texas Hold'em with games like Settlers of Catan and Fiasco and Ticket to Ride and uh, Alhambra and The Last Night on Earth and Pandemic and Munchkin and... Uh, and we put together, we shot 20 episodes in 10 days, and uh, I know you should be impressed because it was really freaking hard to do. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the first episode of Tabletop uh, premieres Monday, April 2nd, at, I know, I'm so excited, at youtube.com slash geekandsundry. And if you want to know all about the show, you can go to tabletop.geekandsundry.com and you can watch a little video there of what the show looks like. I, uh, I brought the DVD of the, of the reel and then of course I left it in my suitcase. Because I'm, like, I'm smart like that. I plan ahead and then I forget important things. Um, I did remember to pee before I came up here today. So, uh, I know, thank you. I'm kind of proud of myself as well. So I worked on Tabletop for a very long time, and it was incredibly awesome and super, super fun. And I finished editing and, and locking everything uh, right before we announced the show uh, at WonderCon. I was working up until the day that we announced the show. So I'm real excited, and new episodes are going to premiere every other Friday. Uh, we share the sort of time slot with Veronica Belmont and her show, uh, Sword and Laser. And on the off weeks, we're going to have out takes and behind the scenes uh, shoots and then maybe some interviews with game developers. I'm going to do some live chats talking about games. It's going to be really exciting. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that and it's going to be great. So um, uh, that is one of the things that's been taking up a, a great deal of my time. The other thing that came about very unexpectedly right before I came to be in Seattle um, is another episode of The Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Evil Will Wheaton returns in about uh, another two or three weeks. I don't know exactly how the schedule is. Um, and uh, some, of the, some of the funniest moments I've seen on the show are in this particular episode. That's all I'm going to tell you about it. Um, uh, but I, um, one of the things that I will tell you is that I spent, uh, you know, because uh, after, the, after the most recent episode of Big Bang Theory, Sheldon and Evil Will Wheaton are now uh, ostensibly friends. So uh, there is a scene where we're sitting next to each other in a restaurant. And, oh, thank you very much. You're not going to put it in the hole, right? Because I'll never find it. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, so, uh, I did spend an entire day sitting next to Jim Parsons, and um, that was as awesome as you think it would be. Um, I have also concluded that Johnny Galecki is the most effortlessly handsome man on the planet Earth. <laughs> One day he comes in and like sweats in a torn up t-shirt and just manages to look sort of like rugged and sexy. The very next day he comes in in like a tie and like and the shoes and he's all put together and Simon Helberg and I were like, what is, why does he do this? It's rehearsal, no one cares. But he looks like he stepped off the front, like he stepped off the cover of Italian Vogue. So that episode premieres in just, uh, in just a couple of weeks. Oh.